be part of what we're doing here at WBONTV.com and advertise with us, email us at information at WBONTV.com or send us a message on Facebook or Twitter. Our video stories now have over a million organic views and over a million people reached organically. Get watched, get noticed, get Richmond's very own. WBONTV.com. It's a Monday, but we have some interesting events and news stories to get you going at the start of this week. From the studios of WBONTV.com, I'm Marissa Hempel, and this is your Monday afternoon news brief. A Laurel County woman is now looking at a handful of charges, including violent offenses, after Richmond police respond to a stabbing earlier last week. Richmond police report that 21-year-old Hennessy Lachey Tevis was located after the call came in from an area near Red House and Union City Roads, where the victim was found with stab wounds. The man told police that Tevis had allegedly stabbed him following an argument. He added that the fight occurred in his vehicle, which Tevis had allegedly left the scene in. She was tracked down in London and was taken into custody. She's lodged in the Madison County Detention Center and charged with the following first degree assault, wanton endangerment, kidnapping of an adult, as well as possession of heroin and warrants for bail jumping. The annual Christmas concert put on by Madison Southern's band will take place tomorrow, December 4th at 7 p.m. in the school's auditorium. The event is free as always and open to the public. Multiple groups will be performing at the yearly concert, including the concert and symphonic bands and the percussion ensemble. And the annual Richmond Christmas Parade will be held this Friday, December 7th. WBON TV will again televise this event for Richmond Parks and Recreation on Facebook, Roku, and on the site Live Player. The parade will begin at Lancaster Avenue at Park Drive at 645 and will continue down Main Street. Keep in mind that streets will be closing at 630 Friday with festivities going out at the courthouse at the same time. Watch the video up now on WBONTV.com to get more details straight from Parks and Rec. In the video, program coordinator Elizabeth Eversoll also gave us details about the letters to Santa project, which will have Santa himself send a letter to the good kids of Madison County. Santa Express is another opportunity for kids to contact Santa and get a personal visit from the jolly old man himself. If anyone is interested in the events listed, be sure to stop by the Parks and Recreation Office before the 7th. And the city of Berea will be hosting a surplus auction at the Berea Municipal Utility Building at 200 Harrison Road. The sale will be held in the Public Works Department area on Saturday, December 15th at 10 a.m. Cash or check with two forms of ID will be accepted only when you purchase items. Purchased items must be removed the day of the sale. Public viewing of items will begin at 9 a.m. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.